In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with spirit. Dear friends, we lift up to God the soul of Antonio Ruiz in this Mass as requested by Anna, his wife. We begin by an acknowledgement of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought, Ezekiel, brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple towards the east. For the facade of the temple was towards the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hands, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live and there shall be abundant fish. And wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both sides of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord, the Lord of, of hosts, hosts is with us. us. Our, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. 
There is a stream whose runlet gladden, gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord, the Lord of hosts is with us. us. Our, stronghold Our stronghold is the, the God of Jacob. Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord, the Lord of, of hosts, hosts is with, with us. Our stronghold, Our stronghold is, is the, the God, God of Jacob. Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. We need to look into the first reading as well to shed light on what we listened to, what we heard in the gospel. And uh, that is because the waters mentioned, say, in the book of Ezekiel about water flowing from all sides of the temple leading to a, a, a river, a great river. And uh, that becomes a, a kind of a sustenance for all the living things around it and for plants to bear fruit, and so on and so forth. In the gospel is this pool, a water, body of water, uh, Bethesda. And that became a source of healing and a reason for all the ill and the sick people to congregate around it so that when they say if there's a little stirring of the water, it is a sign that there is an angel of healing bringing forth God's healing to them. But this, uh, <clears throat> sorry, but this 
person who is ill, crippled for how long? 38 years. Wow. Long years of suffering and no one to help him into the pool. People are so indifferent. And yet, here is Jesus, after seeing him, had compassion, simply said, do you want to walk? <laughs> Simple as that. Rise, take up your mat, go. Such spontaneity and the generosity and the love that Jesus had for the sick, the poor, and the needy. The people reacted differently, especially those who were around watching for who's going to get healed or not, and so on and so forth. Ah, he's doing this on a Sabbath. Wow, what a reaction. Instead of thanking God and, and congratulating the, the crippled person from getting healed and so on and so forth, nothing of that sort. Simply a very legalistic way of looking at things, and that should have been postponed till the Sabbath is over, etc., etc. And so we are invited today to look into our hearts and how in many times than one we've been longing for healing from the Lord, not just physical, from the physical illnesses, but from the many other mental and emotional issues that we may have that need healing and mending and that we need the waters of life, of healing. And that has been given to us at baptism. At baptism, we were cleansed. We were healed. We were given the go signal for discipleship, for ministry, because we are now baptized into the life and death and resurrection of Jesus, as well as into the healing and the wholeness that Jesus brings. So we rekindle our baptisms. Look at the times that we were in need of healing. Go back to the waters of that baptism. So that Jesus, so that God can cleanse us once more, renew us today. And we can be sustained, nourished in our ministering to the church, to the needs of one another, and bring about healing and wholeness rather than judgment and, and looking at loopholes and, and the illnesses of others, we look rather into the healing, the wholeness, and the peace that Jesus brings. Amen. Amen. Our prayers of intercessions, we now approach our merciful God with our prayers for the world. For our Holy Father, may God continue to bless him with strength and courage for his worldwide shepherding of souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of those responsible for public policy, may God guide them in enacting laws that uphold the eternal law of truth given in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from illness of any kind, may the healing and peace of Christ come upon them and give them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For people in our faith community who are preparing to be cleansed in the waters of baptism at Easter Vigil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon experience the joy of eternal life with God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God of all compassion, we come to you with complete trust. Please hear our prayers, and we ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness. We have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. May the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, humbling self to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Accept us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you, humble, contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquities, Lord. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults. <coughs> Excuse me. Raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfowl, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Antonio Ruiz, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Faustina, our patroness, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of God, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's now offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ. On you stay, quit all this peccata mundi, miserere no hobis. An ius Dei, cui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. An ius Dei, cui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ.
And let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament. Have a blessed day, everyone.